adjective function is the adjective not modifying something but behaving like a noun. So I don't know how many of you are fans of the uh, old spaghetti westerns by Clint Eastwood. If you're not familiar with these, uh, early in his career, Clint Eastwood went over to Italy and they made these real cheap old western movies over there that uh, the American actors spoke English and the Italian actors spoke Italian and then they dubbed whichever half they needed to dub in order to distribute it either in Italy or in the United States. And they were really lame movies. But uh, one of the most popular of those movies was called The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly. And this is such a convenient title that it has become a part of lore and it shows up all the time in other things. Uh, someone will be in introducing his three friends and this is the good, the bad, and the ugly, and you know, it goes on. But what do you have here? You have three adjectives, uh, none of which has a noun to modify. The noun is kind of understood depending on context. It might be the, the good cowboy, the bad cowboy, and the ugly cowboy, or it might be the good people, the bad people, and the ugly people. You just have to know from context what's being referred to, but it is just the adjective alone, without a noun, the adjective is referred to uh, uh, or is treated grammatically like the noun. Uh, there's a saying, if you ever have the misfortune of going to a funeral where a young person who has such promise in life uh, either dies of disease or accident, people will stand around and shake their head and say the good die young. Just a phrase that's come up, the good meaning the good people or the good person or the good individual. The good die young. Just a generalization where you have an adjective uh, with the article and no noun to modify. It's taking the place of the noun. And of course, in this sentence, it's taking the place of the subject because there's the verb. Whatever this is referring to is the subject, and then 